Just pass it Robert Chad from Dixon, I'm the British High Commissioner of Dhaka. Uh, I'm here in Barishal uh, particularly because um, Her Majesty the Queen has decided to present an award, uh, a public award that member of the Order of the British Empire, to Sister Lucy Holt, who's been working here in Barishal for nearly 60 years uh, at the Oxford Mission. And the award is a recognition of Lucy Holt, Sister Lucy Holt's extraordinary contribution to education, health, uh, and the life of Barishal, including a period in 1971 when she played a part in providing medical support during the Liberation War. So Lucy Holt has lived a life of exemplary service, and I was very proud yesterday to present her with the, the medal itself. Uh, and with the scroll uh, at a short ceremony that we had uh, here in Barishal. But in addition to doing that, it's very nice. I've only been in Dhaka for a couple of months as High Commissioner, and it's very good. To, I'm trying to see as much of Bangladesh as I possibly can while I'm here, and I'm very pleased early in my time in Dhaka to have had the chance to come and see Barishal. Had a very interesting morning uh, talking to the police commissioner, taking a short trip on the river to see the life on the river, the dockyards, a bit of village life uh, from the boat. Uh, and then we went to the museum, which is very nice, very attractively presented, uh, and then called on the Oxford Mission to see the work that they do there. So it's been a great introduction, I think, to, to Barishal, so thank you. Happy to be here in Barishal. Um, I mean, it's a very attractive city. I've seen only a little bit of it uh, since I arrived yesterday, but what I've seen has been uh, you know, very much the sort of community life that one sees here in Bangladesh. Uh, and the work of the Oxford Mission is a reminder of how strong the links are between Britain and Bangladesh. Uh, there are many, many things uh, that link the UK, the United Kingdom and Bangladesh and it's good to see some of them here in Barisha. The recent disaster man management of Bangladesh, Cyclone Feni. Cyclone, um, no, I mean we, we have a very large development effort here and one of the things that we've worked with the government of Bangladesh on over many years has been cyclone preparedness and it seemed to me that actually the very excellent preparation throughout Bangladesh for Cyclone Fanny uh, and I think that's why despite the fact that it was a very large event, there were relatively few casualties. So Bangladesh has become very good at handling these events, and I'm very pleased that the UK has played a part in helping with that. Uh, uh, democracy, uh, he said, uh, over the democracy of our country. Or uh, the, the, the situation of a political situation, or any other situation? Yes, the, very good question. Will hear? Very good question. Well, what I would say is, I mean, it's an extremely interesting time in Bangladesh. Uh, I mean, what we see in Bangladesh is an economy that's growing at 8% a year. Uh, there are lots of interest, there's lots of interest by companies in investing in Bangladesh. Um, obviously, a country that is in the process of transitioning from least developed country to middle income country status uh, in some ways needs to do its politics in a slightly different way. And we think it's very important in the political climate that exists at the moment for the opposition to be given the space to do its job of holding the government to account in a constructive way. And something that is particularly relevant to this meeting is that we think it's very important that the media, that journalists, uh, are given the freedom that they need to do their jobs in a way that enables them to report the truth uh, and help to hold the government to account. So media freedom is a very big campaign that we're running this year, including here in Bangladesh, and I'm very pleased to see that there's a very lively and energetic press corps uh, here in Barishal. Uh, well, clearly, um, you know, we're living in a, a turbulent time. Um, there are lots of things 
uh, going on around the world. We in Britain continue to make a major contribution, we think, to helping to handle some of these issues. Uh, and in particular, uh, we are the lead in the UN Security Council uh, on trying to solve the problem of the Rohingyas. You know, there is a particular problem here in Bangladesh with the Rohingya people who were driven uh, over the border from Myanmar nearly two years ago. And we are playing a major role in helping to solve that particular crisis uh, through our work in the UN Security Council and between Dhaka and Yangon and London. So the world has lots of problems, but on this problem, which is particularly significant for Bangladesh, uh, we are playing a leading role in trying to find a solution that will enable the Rohingya people to return to Myanmar, but in conditions that are safe, dignified and voluntary. Do you think Myanmar 